Hi, I'm Dennis Hills, and welcome to the AWS Mobile Talk series. Let's talk about exploring mobile hub features. Let's start with the most commonly asked for feature, and that is adding analytics to my mobile app. The messaging and analytics feature is two parts, collecting the analytics from the mobile app and acting on or engaging your users based on the aggregated data collected. Analytics is so critical for a mobile app, we enable it by default on every project created. You only need to enable messaging and configure your channels to start collecting user demographics and app activity and use those insights to create targeted messaging campaigns that send mobile push notifications, email or SMS text messages. Effectively engage your users across multiple channels to accelerate adoption and retention of users. Next, let's talk about another core feature for mobile development, user sign up and sign in for identity and authorization. Mobile Hub allows you to enable and provision your entire user authentication and authorization system in the cloud. The user sign in feature builds a global user database, allowing your mobile users to authenticate with social identity providers, username and password, or via your own identity system. With the user sign-in feature, you can enable any combination of Facebook login, Google sign-in, email and password, or phone number for authenticating your users. Once a user is signed in, they are granted access to your AWS resources like backend APIs, database, and data storage. And if you don't require users to sign in, you still have control over what resources they can access using device authentication. This feature is powered by Amazon Cognito, which brings along built-in solutions such as multi-factor authentication, a configurable native UI for handling all supported social login providers, and email and password. And the best part? It handles all the overhead for forgotten passwords. Nobody wants to deal with that. All you should care about is that your users have all the sign up and sign in options available and they can easily and securely access your cloud backend resources, leaving you to focus on creating great app experiences. Speaking of cloud backend resources, the next feature we'll explore is user data storage. The user data storage feature enables you to store user files such as photos, videos, or documents in the cloud. You can also save user profile data such as app settings or game state in key value pairs. Not only does Mobile Hub provision this feature, it adds a bit of sample data and folder structure to provide a simple use case for allowing your users to store objects in the cloud, in a public folder, or privately depending on if they are logged in or not. When you enable this feature, Mobile Hub is creating an S3 bucket with a public and private folder, a sample image thrown in there, and then updating the IAM role so that your mobile users assume a role and have limited access to read, write objects to those folders within the S3 bucket. Again, a very simple feature, but the alternative for developers is to manually create an S3 bucket and then manually modify permissions and access lists. Far too often, developers will leave permissions wide open to everyone just to get it working. This is why we built Mobile Hub so you never make this mistake. Next, there's the NoSQL database. The NoSQL database feature enables you to create database tables that can store and retrieve data for use by your apps. When you select this feature, you can add one or more database tables for your app. Mobile Hub will set access permissions of your choosing on each table to control user access to the data. Behind the scenes, we are building the DynamoDB table and schema as if you're using the service console, but added security and best practices for fine-grained control, such as public, protected, or private access per user. Next, we have CloudLogic feature that allows you to create and test mobile cloud APIs connected to business logic functions. Let me break this one down a bit. The CloudLogic feature is all about creating a RESTful backend API with a single endpoint that you invoke with a mobile, desktop, or web application. Slap a custom domain on the provided endpoint and you're off to the App Store races. When you enable this feature, Mobile Hub is creating an Amazon API gateway endpoint 
and an AWS Lambda function. This is the serverless solution you may have heard about. API Gateway is your RESTful API with common verbiage like HTTP GET, PUT, and POST. And it directs traffic from a single endpoint to an AWS Lambda function, which handles any business logic for your backend. The Lambda function provided by this feature is a simple Node.js sample coded with a 200 OK JSON response back to the client. I love this feature because it really completes the story of building an entire serverless cloud backend API using multiple AWS managed services. All this working together is what AWS Cloud is about. The end result, you simply provide a single endpoint in your app to access all the backend AWS resources. So just think about all the work to set up a backend API with controlled, rate limiting, throttling access, no servers to manage, and scalable. How about adding a new interface to your existing API? The cool new feature, Conversational Bots, allows you to add voice and text chatbots to your mobile app. You build the chatbot in the Amazon Lex console, then with just a few clicks in your project, you can add a conversational interface to your mobile app within minutes. Remember the great API you built earlier? With Conversational Bots, you are simply adding another interface for your users to interact with that existing API. Instead of clicking, tapping, or swiping, your users can interact with your AWS backend through a natural conversation via mobile app, SMS, Slack channel, or Facebook Messenger. Bots are a hugely popular feature and we'll continue to see growth in this area as AWS has brought AI and machine learning to the forefront by handing us a fully managed conversational interface to mobile apps and other devices. Last, we have hosting and streaming. Host your files or web app through a global CDN that serves cached content and streams media to mobile app store apps from the location nearest to the user. In addition, it supports PWA mobile web applications for distributing content to mobile web users globally. When you enable hosting and streaming, Mobile Hub creates resources to store and distribute your web assets. A sample web app is created based on the project configuration you're just a few clicks away from hosting your own website distributed globally using Amazon S3 and Amazon CloudFront. So what now? It's now time for you to go build your mobile backend and integrate the AWS mobile SDKs into your own app to start making API calls to the cloud. As a mobile developer, start with AWS Mobile Hub as your home base for building great cloud-based mobile applications. Remember, creating a project in Mobile Hub is free and you only pay for the features you enable within the projects. Until next time on AWS Mobile Talk, go build and have a great day.